Hello everyone, I'm Al. And I'm Sai. And this is episode 39 of... The Full Bean Podcast. It is. So first off today, we're going to... We have a, a works forum where we type started, which is petrol heads. I can't say where we work, but it's part of the civil service. Uh, and we started putting our car spotting. We did. Followed Sam car yeah, spotting yeah, photos yeah. up, which yep. needs to an area, really, don't we? We do, yeah. Okay. And we asked our followers, on our followers, our colleagues on there to do, do the same. And the one who did the most, we get a shout out on here. Oh, the ones, not necessarily the most, but the ones who did the best. Because we put some up first, didn't we? Yeah. And we'd spotted a 488 Ferrari and we'd spotted a really fantastic um, Aventador SV. The blue one. The blue one with the slightly gold alloys. Yeah. And I said, that's going to be hard push to beat. Yeah. So we put it out there, did it on the forum, said, if you can do better than this, then you can be our competition winner and we will give you a shout out and we will display your photos. So, Mohammed smashed it. Yeah, Mohammed Mohammed Aga in Croydon. Well done. Well done. You put photos of... A McLaren P1. We have a dodgy paint job. Yeah. Um, that's definitely a nice legacy about the face, isn't it? Mm. Um, a Mercedes SLS. A yellow one. Was it yellow it or was mustardy yellow. or yeah, goldy? Yeah. Don't see many of them. I've only ever seen one of them. Uh, and it was just really quick. It was just going the other way. And it was just a quick glance. It was white. Um, but everything, three quarters of the car is all at the front. Mm. It's got a very small back, but rare. Nice. nice. Good spot. And two Lambos. Yeah, two Hurricanes. Two Hurricanes, a yellow one and a black one. I think the black one might have been the Performante. Um, but yeah. Yes, of course. But both great cars. So four really good spots by Mohammed. So well done. Well done, mate. And now we're going to move on to our main subject of discussion, which is... The Volkswagen Conundrum. The Conundrum. <laughs> Not the Countdown Conundrum. No. I know how to spell Volkswagen. We can't make words out of it, but... What is the conundrum say? That's his view to say. It is. Right, okay, so a while back, uh, I was scrolling through social media and there was a promoted tweet, um, and it was for it was for the uh, Volkswagen Artian. I hear a nice gun. Sorry, I'm just a bit vague about my vehicle. So there was a promoted tweet about the Volkswagen Artian. Is it the Artian? Artian, yeah. 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 And... It, to be honest, it caught my eye, so I stopped, and I, I normally just scroll past all these promoted tweets and all that kind of stuff. Caught my eye, and I thought, oh, that, you know, that, that is a nice-looking coupe. I'm just trying to make sexy more of you, so... Fine, I'll don't worry. Okay, cool. Um, and I we're, a bit, sorry, we're a bit ragged this week, because Saz GoPro wouldn't connect to the Wi-Fi. So I've actually used my phone instead, so I apologise for that, but carry on. Oh, so you're not going to mention the cold that you've had for 162 years? The what? The cold that you've had... The flu I've had. Oh, shut up. It's the flu. Anyway, there was this Artian, and I did think that's a lovely looking car. Very nice. Totally spec. Loads of stuff on it inside and out. All the luxuries, all the mod cons. Why doesn't it sell? Right, you asked me this, didn't you? And yeah. you said, the question you said to me was, <coughs> and it harks back to a previous podcast we did, was, is VW underrated? Yes. Yes. And I said, I think it's. Rated as a manufacturer. This is a really good point. Oh, yeah. But some of its cars are underrated. Yeah. Some of its cars aren't underrated. It depends on what kind of car it is. But you associate VW with a certain type of car. So, if I said to you, Sir, I've just bought a German hot hatch. Yeah. For 30 odd thousand pounds, what would you say? I'd say that's a Golf TTI. Right. Okay, that's the first thing that comes to mind. If I said to you, Sir, I've just bought a German SUV. That's a luxury. It's about 50 grand. What would you say? You've bought an X5. No, I bought a Touareg. Have you? Oh, but why would, you say, an X, why would you say an X5 and not a Touareg? Because you don't associate VW with that high-end class of car. So, I've just bought a German saloon. You've bought a 3 Series yeah. or a C-Class. No, I've bought an Artian. Yeah, have you? Why? Exactly. Why would be the question. But why not is the question. Yes, exactly. Ask the conundrum. So, you're the smart one out of us two. Am I? You never said before. Well, you have to be something on there. You haven't got the height or the looks or age on your side, so we'll give you something. That's the pet shop boys say. You've got the looks, I've got the brains. <coughs> okay. Go on. So, solve it for me. What solve is it. the conundrum? And I did, taking this podcast as seriously as I do, I spent some time away from work and everything else, and I looked at the sales figures 
of the European sales figures for what I believe would be like the Artians competition, right. let's say. So just bear with me while I look at my phone. The Artians start to fit £2,000, by the way. Yeah, which is Still right bang £2, in the middle of a 320 diesel or a 330 or a C-Class or even an Audi. Yeah. Okay, so it's put itself right bang in the centre of most probably one of the most hotly... What's the word I'm looking for? Competition, isn't it? It's contested. Like, yeah, hotly contested market, really. The yeah. German... Uh, saloon and, and coupe range market is whew. so <coughs> <laughs> how many Artians were sold Europe wide in 2018 thousand I'd be a bit, be a bit down on it yeah you are mate. Yeah, you're not doing my sales figures here any good uh, 10,000 Twenty-one thousand four hundred ninety-five. That's all up. Why? It's about fifty thousand. Those probably in Germany. Yeah. So they were only. They never. They only got a, above two thousand in two months. So in January they sold one thousand one hundred. Yeah. In February they sold nine hundred. Yeah. March fifteen hundred. April fourteen hundred. May eighteen hundred. June uh, two thousand two hundred. So June and July were their best best months, and then it dropped again to fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred, eleven hundred, and then back to fifteen hundred. I mean, you're November. Applied, That's not very good. That's not very it? good at all. So, so again, right? So this led us on to another question, didn't it? Is it is it bad snobbery? I <laughs> now, this comes back to my point about as a manufacturer, they're very rated because, and let's forget the emissions so-called scandal yeah, which yeah. nobody was interested in at all apart from the media the average driver didn't, didn't no. care about it no no okay. care about it VW is rated as a manufacturer because if you look at not so much Seat more Skoda it was seen as a unreliable manufacturer yeah. before VW took over and I was like oh Skoda are great yeah. because the VWs yeah. and they made them reliable yeah. and the switch gear is good yeah. and the handle is yeah. good yeah. and the dashboard's nice but because the VWs they're market so, leaders in the hatchback category yes you go and buy yourself a Golf or a Polo so yeah. Yeah, they are an absolutely rated manufacturer and you are absolutely right build quality is great switch gear is great interior is great but they're not seen as a luxury car so they are rated then, but then they have a ceiling. Do they? Oh, a ceiling. So when they get to golf, yeah. Do then you look elsewhere? Probably. So let me give you the sales figures of a uh, three series BMW. <coughs> okay, so for the Artium in 2018, they sold 21,000 across Europe. Okay. How many did BMW sell across Europe? Three times as much. 106,000. Okay, 106,000 BMW 3 Series were sold. Wow. Okay, in 2018. Some of the sales figures here are ridiculous. 7,900, 7,100, 13,300, 8,000, 9,000, 11,000, 8... So BMW are out selling Volkswagen after... Three months of the year. Does that just mean they're common? <laughs> Maybe. Sorry. So this now is, do you buy an Artian because you don't want to fall in line with everybody else? Is it the brave choice? Is it the little bit out there choice? I've got 30,000. I can buy a BMW or a C-Class, but I don't want to fall in line with everybody else. I don't want to be a sheep, so I'll buy, I'll be one of the 20,000. Yeah, possibly. Okay. Um, see, where does Audi fit into this? So... Did Mercedes sell more or less C-Class than 3 Series? Less. 150,000. That more or less? They more. More. Because BMW sold 106. Okay. So the C-Class is even more common? No. There's a lot of taxis use C-Classes, don't know. They do, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and Audi is way below both BMW and Mercedes, but still but what, more than what the What I mean is, where's the fit into it in the centre of that? <laughs> With hatchbacks, they're not really at the races, even though they're very good hatchbacks. Yeah. So you're looking at the A1, the A2, the yeah, A3. Yeah, great, but yeah. they're not. You don't see many of them. They're not golfs. No. Right? 
But you come to SUVs to queue whatever. Yeah. Queue whatever number you want. Four, five, six, seven, whatever, eight. Like wet all over VW. Yeah. It's up there BMW. Yeah, yeah. But why? Because you're talking about the luxury brand, aren't you? Like I said, when is... did Audi become a luxury brand? When footballers started buying them. And when rappers started that? putting them in their videos. Mm. Early 2000s. Yeah, I think it's not, it's not like... I mean, when I was young, BMWs were still class then. Yeah. Audis were just motorway cars. Yeah. But so... Putting Audi in a straight line, bruv. They weren't seen as luxury cars. To give you the... To, to, I think the point they were making here is... Polos, change. Yeah, on. polos, hatchbacks, everything else. Golf is your car. Beatles, polos, golf, bang. I think then when you start getting up into the luxury brackets of saloons, coupes, SUVs, people start to go elsewhere. But why would somebody... Well, here's a good question. If you've got a BMW SUV or a 4 Series, yeah. whatever, so you're serious about your cars, yeah. and you think... I want a hatchback now. Yeah. Well, you would consider a Golf R. Yes. So if you if you consider a Golf R, why wouldn't you consider an Artyom? Yeah, or or a Tureg. Exactly. Why? It's the same company. Should I give you some selling figures of the Golf? If you must. Just like washing cars again. <laughs> <laughs> How many VW Golfs were sold across Europe? So any model of golf? Any model of golf. When, last year? Yes. 200,000? 445,000 <laughs> golf. I'm not good at this, are No. So, this, but this proves our point, Al. This proves our point that people flood the market for golf yeah. and golf marks, okay? Yeah. I thought this was really interesting because I thought Ford would outsell everybody. Yeah. 199,000 Ford Focus were sold. So that's less than half of the Golfs? Yes. I'm surprised. Yeah, in the same year. I'm surprised. And BMW 1 Series, he sold 127,000. So the luxury mark comes in last. The yeah. small cars. Yeah. The Golf comes in top. Mm. And then when you're getting into the luxury stage and the saloon stage, the Volkswagen drops off and Audi, Mercedes and BMW come to the fore. It's just why I can't get made around. If people think a golf, especially golf R's, <coughs> R32's, whatever, are worth the money, yeah. then why isn't an SUV worth the money? Why isn't an Artyom worth the money? So is it bad snobbery? Have we have we totally is. done the full beam, full circle again? Yeah, I think it is. But it's not bad snobbery when it comes to the type, it's the type of car. Yeah. When it comes to a, a, a hatchback, it's not bad snobbery. It's a no-brainer. Because you were considered yes. that. So you go bigger, oh, I don't want one of those. Yeah, exactly. But why wouldn't you want one of those? Yeah. It's odd. It is. It's odd. Is that it? That's it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we, haven't really, we haven't really got an answer there, have we? I think we have. I think we have got an answer there, Al, yeah. It's it's not one, we have, but it's not one that I understand. No, it's certainly not build quality. They're yeah. certainly not underrated. Yeah. They, they, they have just got a ceiling. Yeah, it's true. They've got a ceiling... But again, they're not. It's not that they don't sell. They're selling twenty thousand in a year, but that is nothing compared to the amount of BMW, Mercs, and Audi. So people go, ask me tomorrow if you want if if I drive a Golf. I absolutely would. Ask me tomorrow if I drive an Artyom. and no, I'd have a four series. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do sporty Artyoms? They must be doing R line, which makes it look decent. But I, I wouldn't say they've got any more than a, a three liter engine in them max. Mm. Sporty Artyom. I think I've only ever seen two Artyoms ever. They're so rare. Yeah. yeah, but didn't it replace the Passat CC? Wasn't it the Phaeton? No, I don't think it was. I think it was the Passat. Because the Phaeton's huge, isn't it? It's a limo. They've gone out. So they've, they've done them anymore. No. But they again, why would you? Ford, why would you buy a, 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 a Phaeton when you could have an S Class or a 7 Series or a 5 Series or. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they're, they're putting themselves out there, aren't they? But then they're not selling. Yeah, it's because true. they have a luxury ceiling. Okay, so that is our answer. It's not one I'm really happy with. But I think it makes sense, and I think we've backed it up with stats for a change. I think we've been quite serious here, Al. We backed it up with stats. We backed it up with stats and proper stats, not made up stats not to make stats. to make me look good or you know to make BMW look good. True. These are proper official European selling figures. True. 
Okay, so that's that one done. It is. So welcome back. Hello. I've got some great news for you. God. BMW have confirmed that they will be maintaining combustion BMW. engines until 2050. Not if the government has its way. So none of this Mercedes all our range will be EVs by tomorrow. No. As petrol heads, we don't want that. We want combustion engines. Well, so do. well done, BMW. 30, 40 more years of M's. Oh, yes. Yeah, but the government's got a policy where they want it all to be all, all electric by 2030. Not going to happen. Of course it won't. No, oh, not going to happen. It's absolutely impossible. The infrastructure won't hold up. The national grid won't hold up. I mean, I haven't got enough charging ports. So everybody go and buy BMWs. Or just buy a car with an engine. Just to make a point. As opposed to cars without engines which don't exist. What I meant was... <laughs> what I meant was... I can have a combustion engine, not batteries. Well done, Al. Just to clear that one up. Well done. Okay. Okay. Unless, of course, you're just potting it out town. And then in that case, buy a Mini. Fair enough. <laughs> or oh, don't. That's, case, baby. <laughs> That's a little private joke. It is, yeah. It is, there. Right, so is that it for this week? We saw you haven't been here last two weeks. I've not been too good. Al couldn't walk. Yeah, couldn't. Um, he, he, uh, he was dragging his, his leg behind him like a... Like a spare part. Yeah. Um, and I'm full of cold, but obviously I don't go on about it like Al. Al's had, Al, Al's had a sniffle for like 400 years. Um, I've had this nose for 50 odd years. It's going to be a break for you. So yeah, uh, but it's nice to be back. It is. Uh, and also, you're going to tell the people what we're planning on doing. We're planning on doing more little, smaller clips. We're going to start, and we're not sure we're going to call them full beam beeps or full beam honks. We could have good cars or beeps and really horrible cars or honks. Could do. Could do. I could do. So we're going to start doing more, you know, car spotting of a bunch of time. But we're going to video with them instead and go, here's a full BMB. And it'll be 20 seconds. Yeah. So that, that's a really good idea. And then we can just upload them to YouTube, can't we? Just have a real quick snippet. And if it's really horrible, car will be a honk. Yeah. And then we can get Al, Al making some horrible noise or something. Or yeah. We could put Al's face next to the honk and my face next to the beep. <laughs> 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 Any chance you get. Any yeah. chance you get. So, yeah. Um, so look out for that shortly, okay. Yeah, anything else coming up, I'll know. That's it, really. Just, just remember, if it's Friday, it's full bean. It must be. Okay, bye-bye, everyone. See you, bye, sir. I'm not ready to go yet, Al. Are you? No. I've just said bye-bye. I know, yeah, but now I, just, I like it here. What are you going to talk about? Uh, this wasn't planned, by the way. I don't know. I was going to look in my eyes. <laughs> I'm only doing the annual. Uh, are, oh. we doing the, are we doing the? Are we doing the subscribe button? Oh, the subscribe! Yeah, there, it's there, there. Uh, and there's always one down there. I'm not pointing down side. there. I'll. I'm well, not... we through, but there's a big one here now. And you just click that and subscribe. There you go. Yeah. Subscribe to us, follow us, and Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. At Full Beam Cars. Yeah, and we're on Drive Tribe. Check us out on there. We're on Drive Tribe as well. Gmail. Yeah, full yeah, cars. Yeah. So yeah, get in touch, follow us, subscribe, uh, turn your notifications on, leave us a comment, leave us a thumbs up on, on our videos, uh, and until next time. Oh, we're actually going now, are we? Because you've said. Right, okay. Until next time, people. Bye. Bye-bye.